absolutely not. And we're, we're concerned with Auburn and, uh, and what we're trying to do and, uh, and all that other stuff will take care of itself one way or the other, and we're, we're really not uh, paying a whole lot of attention to that. You know, a little bit. They're, they're working in there some. Uh, you know, again, not not full not full uh, full go like they like they've been before, obviously. But uh, you know, they're trying to work in there and get get some some practice preparation. In there. Well, you know, he probably was the only guy that really could go out there inside that could do that. That's kind of why he's the guy out there. The rest of those guys are inside guys, three hundred pounders. He was kind of the light of the agile one, so he was just a natural. Fit to, you know to get some work out there, but like I said, you know he, you know going into the game, he's probably going to be a guy that plays inside before he plays outside. He's just he's just a, a very cerebral player. You know you just put him at different positions and he just knows it. I don't even have to meet extra with him. He just knows, it. and that's just something that's invaluable because you get in a crunch and you got to put somebody somewhere and you just go to him and say, hey, go there. And it's just invaluable to have a guy that knows. Knows all those positions. I'm not sure he couldn't play all of them, just by how, how smart he is. But it's been a big plus for him to be able to play both sides. Uh, somewhere around the neighborhood of five seconds, um, which is NFL uh, caliber height. The last week, uh, all of them were above except for one. I think it was four nine ish, something like that. Four nine two, so four nine six, something like that. Uh, I don't know if those guys were losing it in the lights or. Or in the dark sky, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what they were what they were experiencing. Um, but um, you know, you you expect guys to catch punts no matter how high they go up. Doesn't matter how high how they go. You, you know, you don't care if somebody drops out of a plane. If they need to fill that punt, they're supposed to fill it. So, so that's what it is. Really tough break for a kid that has really stuck around and remained probably more persistent than any kid I've ever coached. Never got down, never got discouraged, never once in the two and a half years that I've coached him did he have a bad day. I mean, never once did he come out there not ready to work. I'm talking off season, summer, um, fall, spring practice, every day. Works his tail off and uh, so proud of him to, to come out and earn a starting job this year. And uh, tough for him to have to end that way his senior year. However, one thing that that I know he'll always carry with him is the fact that he earned a starting job and he helped us win some games and was uh, was a productive part of of our team. Played in the best league in the country. He's doing well. He's doing well. We held him last week and uh, he's ready to go. He was chomping at the bit last week, but he's ready to go and uh, we'll have some packages for him. Get ways to get him the ball because he can make plays and ways to get Ontario the ball and uh, Mike the ball. We'll have them all out there at the same time some point so we, we have to get the ball in the hands of the guys that can make the plays and he's proven he can make make a few plays. Well you know he wants a guy that can do it all. Well, Cam Newton, you know, if we can find another Cam Newton that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> you see one let us know. Uh, after having a quarterback, obviously you know they're not out there you won't find a Cam Newton, you know, probably for the next twenty five years. But after having a mobile quarterback who can also throw He's multi-dimensional. puts a lot of pressure on the defense. So you know, we look for an athletic quarterback who, who can obviously throw the football. And some is he's basically throwing to the backups, which he's been doing anyway. So their timing is fine. And they've been working <laughs> together already. So uh, they haven't been any issues. But uh, Clint's just one of those guys that everybody just everybody likes. He's not hard to like. He's a tough kid, and you know uh, he does have that gunslinger mentality. Uh, I just hope it doesn't get us in trouble with that. Because he's not afraid to throw it in there, you know. And uh, receivers like that, uh, coordinators don't like that when he throws interceptions. <laughs> coaches, head coaches don't like that. But Clint's just a likable kid. And he works hard, and you know he's getting his opportunity. And we hope he makes the best of it as well. They play with a frenzy. And you, you like that. I mean, I mean, they look like they're having fun. They look like they're flying around. And uh, like I said, just a reflection of, of Chief. I mean, that's just how he is. And he um, got our defense at Tennessee playing the exact same way. I see a defense that's um, they don't have any weaknesses whatsoever. They they have uh, NFL players at every level, multiple NFL players at every level. First round picks all over the defense. 
They're really good everywhere. I don't see any weaknesses in their defense. I've been trying to find some, but I haven't. <laughs> And it's still all I sing. That's what they made the song. Yeah. We'll stop that.